Caitlin, why why'd you decide you wanted to kick? I just thought it looked really fun and really cool, and I thought I decided I'd try it out. Well, I've played soccer since I was four and basketball since third grade, and I've always played like competitive like during the summer and everything, so it just made the ability to kick uh, pretty easy to come naturally. Well, we, uh, we had paraded a bunch out there to kick it uh, in May during our 10 practices, and she was our water girl. And uh, we had some guys struggling to kick it, struggling on extra points and some short field goals. And she came by and said, uh, Coach, can I take the back of kicking balls to the other end and try it for a little bit? And I said, well, sure, go ahead. You know, I thought, well, no, nothing bad can come of this. Let her go kick some. And we watched her after she kicked a couple, and she's a natural. I mean, she had good form, and uh, she had a good leg. And uh, we thought, well, she's a lot better than what we've got. Every week she's improved. And she's gone from a, a little girl that took the footballs to the other end to kick around to one of the better high school kickers. And uh, we'll, I told her, we're going to parade people in front of you to beat, her, beat you out. And we have. And she hadn't blinked an eye. She's a very competitive young lady. And she's the best we've got. We're happy that she is. You made a 42-yard field goal two weeks ago. Um, it's believed to be one of the longest in state history for a girl. What was that like for you? Um, it was pretty awesome. It was really awesome to hear like the crowd and how all of my teammates hit me and uh, say good job and everything. It was pretty cool. It was your first field goal attempt this season too, and it was yeah. week seven. Um, how excited were you to even get a chance just to kick a field goal? I was really excited. I was finally getting to kick a field goal. It had been a while. It was week seven. It was a little, quite a bit of ways in. I thought I'd never get one. I was really excited to see her come out here. Me and her have been good friends for a while since middle school, and uh, she asked me to come out here and kick with her for a while. and. We worked, we worked for about 30 minutes each day for a few weeks, and I'd always help her, and it was just great to see her out here. She loved kicking so much, and she was good at it, naturally. You know, Coach Breeze admits that he doesn't usually let girls come out and play football. What did you do to break that barrier, and what kind of challenge was that for you? Um, I'm not exactly sure what I did. I just came out and worked hard, and he saw that, and I think he liked that because he, he's all about people who come out and work hard. So when he saw me out here working hard, that he, he admired that, and then he gave me a shot. It's given us a different look. You know, a lot of football players got the macho uh, growl and bark type attitude where we're going to knock somebody down every day. There's some compassion in football, and it was good for our coaches and our players to see a young lady out there and see her work ethic and see how she improved and uh, it gives us our football team a little bit more compassion. Now then, she's everybody's favorite player. When she kicks an extra point or a field goal, our, our kids are more excited than any other play of the game. And it's been very good for our football team. We get pumped up out there every time she makes a long field goal. And we always congratulate her in the locker room and everything. And it's just, it's just a great time. Everyone, everyone loves her.